Over the years, public agencies have played a critical role in rallying Singaporeans towards common national goals. Many campaigns have been spearheaded by individual public agencies to promote behavioural change within the community. Several of these campaigns such as the Speak Mandarin Campaign, National Smoking Control Campaign and Anti-Littering Campaign are still relevant and have been enhanced to cater to the needs of our present society. With the advancement of information technology, especially social media, in reaching out to the masses, the way we live, work and communicate have also changed significantly. The changing landscape calls for alternative approaches to meet challenges such as rising public expectations and overlapping of issues across public agencies. While these social changes present many new challenges, they also provide opportunities for the public agencies to engage the community more effectively, leading to better communication and taking greater ownership of issues by stakeholders. With increased complexities of national issues, the public no longer view public agencies as separate entities, but government as a whole to resolve the issues. To stay ahead and meet the challenges, public agencies need to foster closer partnerships to engage the community effectively. Having individual agencies reaching out to common target groups at different timing could lead to fragmented outcomes and inefficiencies. To boost the overall standards and maximize impact, it's essential for public agencies to join forces, share their knowledge and maximize the use of resources. One example of an inter-agency initiative is the Energy Save Program, which educates the community to conserve energy and adopt good environmental practices. The campaign against dengue involves collaborative efforts from more than 20 public agencies which have helped to reduce the number of dengue cases over the years. In engaging the foreign workers to educate them on social norms and to prevent dengue, MOM, SPF and NEA have also come together to raise awareness in dengue prevention through common roadshows at the worker dormitories. These examples illustrate the close public agencies' cooperation and coordination in community engagement. Besides the public sector, the success of community outreach campaigns also depends on the close partnership with the people and private sectors. Therefore, the National Environment Agency adopts the people, private and public partnership engagement strategy to achieve greater impact and effectiveness in reaching out to the community. For the people sector, NEA works closely with grassroots and community leaders, youth groups and NGOs to roll out environmental programs for the community. As for the private sector, NEA partners with corporate organizations to tap on their strings and to engage their employees. Panasonic and ExxonMobil are some of the corporate partners working closely with NEA on various environmental outreach programs. In this technological age, to ensure our message reaches all demographic groups, we need to utilize different channels to reach out to them. The one-size-fits-all outreach strategy is no longer adequate in engaging the different segments of the community. The use of new communication tools has also opened up new engagement options to promote interaction with the community. Recognizing that different target groups learn in a different way will help to tailor the message to appeal to each group. For example, NEA has developed an internet-based transmedia storytelling initiative, Operation Maze, to promote dengue awareness among the young and the internet savvy. Through such role-playing games, webisodes and interstitials on YouTube, youths will be more engaged to learn dengue prevention measures. The people, private and public engagement strategy harnesses the strengths and expertise of the different sectors to reach out to the community more effectively. Positive responses and results of previous collaborations have shown that the strategy is an effective approach in engaging the community. So let us build on current successes to encourage closer working relationships, share best practices and foster greater interagency collaborations so that public service remains relevant and responsive to the community.